In this uh, video, we will uh, look at some of the key features of the fifth edition of Introduction to Food Engineering. Uh, this edition is now available as a traditional print edition, an EPUB, and a new multimedia enriched version called EPUB 3 version that can be accessed via any tablet computer such as an iPad. As we see here, there are numerous high resolution photographs of equipment to obtain a clear visual description. There are around 100 animations embedded to improve learning. For example, here we see an animation of how to use Heisler charts. When seen through an animation, it is easier to understand how one obtains data from such charts. Other animations are linked to various diagrams that help learn underlying concepts. Here we see how refrigerant moves inside a refrigeration cycle. In this next figure of an air blast freezer, a spiral freezer is animated to show how food is frozen. Some of the photographs are linked to animations. Here are the workings of a scraped surface freezer. There are video clips of industrial equipment. Animations help to enhance the information that one can get from an illustration. Here we view how foods are frozen in a fluidized bed freezer. There are also video clips of industrial processes. Here we see a movie of how salmon fillets are prepared in a fish freezing plant in South America. Another important feature in this EPUB 3 version is the inclusion of around 100 what if problems. Here a solved example using Planck's equation is set up so that input values can be changed to see the results. Here we change the convective heat transfer coefficient from 50 to 150 to see its effect on the freezing time that decreases from 0.72 hours to 0.44 hours. And what if we decrease the convective heat transfer coefficient from 150 down to 10? That results in a much slower freezing process taking almost two and a half hours. There are numerous photographs taken from industrial operations. For example, here we see pressure retorts used in canning and other types of retorts. There are also illustrations of industrial operations from around the world. Here, how pineapple slices are prepared manually for canning in a processing plant in India. In a number of chapters, one can conduct virtual experiments for example, here an experiment on how to determine convective heat transfer coefficient. Some of the industrial methods are shown along with experimental details of preparing a transducer. Each step of the procedure is shown along with theory. In the operators panel, the user may select any of the conditions. For example, here a transducer exposed to hot water heating and the center temperature is measured. Similarly, one may do this experiment in a cooling environment and change any of the input conditions. Here the initial temperature is changed to 75 and the radius of the transducer may also be changed. There are details provided on how to process data to obtain the relevant coefficients. There are also discussion questions. With over 200 multimedia embellishments, this version of the fifth edition is intended to help in increasing learning of various principles and concepts of food engineering.